Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Pierre from Simple Home Brew. I'm heading out to my mate's place today. Uh, we're going to do some band practice. We've got a gig coming up uh, the 10th of December at the Trailgun Rodeo. We're going to be the main band there and we're going to do some country and some rock and have a ball. This video today is an opening video. Ah. Alright, so that was a bit of an interruption. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so what the video is about today, I'm going to do a tasting on another Goodland Brewing Christmas beer. This is the second one of three. And then I'm going to do some beer tastings from the advent calendar from Carwin Cellars. So I'm looking forward to having those and drinking those. So if you're interested, stick around, uh, subscribe, so I can get notifications when I'm doing that. Also, I've got a call out for you. Um, I've already spoken to my Patreon me members. We've got a couple on board. I would like you guys to, if you want to, do a tour of your brew shed or your brew house or your brewery and send them to me or send me a link to them so I can produce them or present them on my videos. So if you want to do that next year in January, I'm going to produce some videos. Uh, I'm going to start doing a maybe a weekly or a bi-weekly uh, presentation of someone else's brew shed. So if you want to be part of that, jump on. Um, there's no prizes or anything. It's just a bit of an exposure. It, it, it'll, it, it'll teach people what brew sheds are like in some places and who does what and how you do stuff. It's uh, going to teach me about improving my brew shed and my brewing experience too. And also uh, maybe we can give the, you guys an idea on how you can improve your brew shed and go from there. You know, expenses taken into account you know it's got to cost it's got to cost nothing but we'd like to see your brew shed in my channel I would like to present them on my channel and hopefully you guys could get something out of it and might even inspire some of you to start your own channel all right guys let's start this tasting <sighs> just fix you up straighten you out a bit that's better all right so I'm back from practice and I have to say it went pretty well pretty happy with it I think we're going to be fine on the day. As I was trying to say before, we have a gig at uh, the Trogan Rodeo, which is on the 10th of December. If you guys are interested, pop in, say hey, make yourself known. If you're going to come up, say hi, Pierre, I'll watch your channel or whatever you want to do, and uh, let me know who you are. Cheers. All right, I'm going to try this. This is a good land lager. Got a nice little Christmas wrap all over it. It says where good comes, where good beer comes from, which is good land. Beer Co. Um, being a lager, I don't think it's going to be hoppy. But then again, it's a Christmas one. It says, brewed for everyday moments with delicate aromas from Australian Enigma hops and fermented at a cool temperature, a bright taste and a crisp finish. This, it's, ref it's refreshingly, it's, ref it's refreshingly, God, it's refreshingly smooth and brewed with pride in Gippsland. Drink cold, drink fresh, drink good land lager. Okay. So we'll do the... Uh... Oh, no. oh, here we go. Wow, that was a bit difficult to open, to be honest. But anyway, we shall pour it in one of my glasses. I bought these from um, Dan Murphy's. I was in the middle of nowhere doing one of my walkabout videos. And I didn't have a glass, so I had to go and buy a pack of glasses, a four. And they've been pretty good. These are craft beer glasses. Um, 15 bucks, I think, they cost me for four. So really good. So that's the beer. Nicely carbonated, as you can probably see. Nice, I oh, know, straw colour. Very light straw colour. Um, being a lager. Oh, it's got something else in there. There's, you can smell the hops. Oh, can smell the lagering, for sure, in a beer. A little bit of yeasty smell, but it still smells pretty good. And uh, I can smell the hops. Just mildly there, but they're there. Okay, I'm hanging to do for this. I've been practicing all week, all day. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's nice. Slightly sweet. Um, a small amount of citrus, not much. Well, I can really, I can still smell the yeast in there though, um, but it is very lager, very much a lager, very tasty, 
I've um, got lots and lots of flavours in here. Mm. I've got a little bit of an aftertaste of something. I'm not sure what it is. I believe it might be the wheat that they use. It gives it that, that little bit of a flavour that I, I notice in these wheated beers. So someone's going to correct me down there, I'm sure. But um, nonetheless, it's a very nice beer. It's very um, rich in taste. Um, not a lot of bitterness, a bit of bitterness, but not a lot. Let's see what the can says. Doesn't really say much about bitterness. It's equivalent to 1.6 standard drinks. It's 4.7 ABV. Uh, this is a 440ml can too, so that fits in that glass perfectly. So it's really, really well, well designed glasses, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't say much about the IBUs or anything like that, but it's um, not a big deal, not a big problem. But yeah, nice beer. This is number two out of three that I'm going to do before December. Uh, and I hope you guys can see an insight in our local beer brewery. And uh, hopefully you can have a look at it too and see what you think. Anyway, that's the tasting note. I know it's a bit of a different video, video today. So guys, as I said, I'd like you guys to send me an email here of your brew shed tour um, and I'll play it on my channel. If you're too shy to talk on it, give me a write up on what you have and I'm happy to just do a bit of a voiceover for you if you like. But if you want to talk yourself, do so, please. Uh, it'd be much easier for me. And I really want to show people's sheds. And I'm going to try and advertise this through all the videos I'm coming up with in the next few days. I've got two already on the go and they're quite happy to share their brew shed with me and you guys as well, so hopefully it'll be good. I'm doing this so we can all get the idea on what would be, make a nice brew shed for an individual or a group. But before I go, I'd like to say thank you to my patrons and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your support on this channel. It's invaluable. The, the funds that you guys supply help me showcase beers like this and make my own. As some of you know, I play in a band and I kind of gave it a miss for a long time. I didn't play for a long time. And I got called up and said, would you like to do a gig? And that's what I'm doing. I'm going to leave this video with a little bit of a video of us practicing. Hopefully you'll like it. See if you think it's any good. Um, stick around for it. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one. Beautiful. Oh. Yummo. It's pretty good. Thank mm -hmm. you.